Hey guys, this is a video of all my unadopted webkins. Yeah, I have currently 28 webkins that are unadopted. Um, I will tell you guys, basically I'm going to explain to you guys why the webkins are unadopted and pretty much yeah. So I've actually took the time to dig into my webkins bin and get out all the unadopted ones. Not all of these came from the bin because the bin's almost still up to the top. It is heavy, I don't know how much webkins weighed. Oh my god! So the rest are adopted in there. It's a few and stuff. Yeah. Well, the reason being, anyway, why these are adop unadopted is because I, when I first started collecting webkins, I, I was about, when I first started collecting webkins, I was probably about 12 or 13 years old. At the end of this year, it'll be three years I've been collecting them for. Well, almost. So, yeah. But, um, pretty much, I, at first when I started getting them, I just, I loved the online game. I was younger then, and I just loved going online and adopting them. But all of a sudden my account got hacked like a year after I was on Webkins. And I only had like 20 or 30 Webkins virtual. And so I think I know who hacked my account. But I'm not going to say guys. Um, because that would be horrible. I'm not the type of person that's going to call out who they are. But whoever done it, I hope you know that you're just stupid. You know, it's no point in hacking someone's account. So I thought there's no point in um, adopting any of my future Webkins as... If my account gets hacked again, I would have lost all them webkins. And of course, you know, when you buy webkins, you don't just have to pay for the plushie. It's also the code. So, sometimes the code is worth just as much as the actual webkins. And so, therefore, I don't want to lose all of it. Otherwise, I would have lost some of my money down the drain. So, yeah. And also, I'm more of a serious collector now. So, I only collect them to make videos with and put them on show. After them and out, they're on show. Because I'm a serious collector and I'm going to sell them all in years to come. But obviously I'm going to still be collecting them for the next 5-6 years if I can. And then I'll be selling them all. But obviously not to YouTube people, to just proper sellers. But yeah. Anyway guys, um, I'm going to start. So first we have my signature Pomeranian, Ivana. Code. Just show you guys the phone. Then we have my signature Bernie's Mountain Dog, Lulu. Code. Attached, magic W. Then we have my Grizzly Bear Mars. Code W. Then we have my Brown Dog. Oh, these two are going to be worth a bit because they're signatures. Then we have my Brown Dog, Amaya. W code. Brown Dog's really hard to find and sort of rare, so it is worth quite a bit. If you buy it on eBay and stuff, they are quite expensive. So I have another Brown Dog, but her code was used online because I got her quite a while ago. Then we have Yuko, my little kin's black and white cheeky dog. W code Christmas my Arctic Fox W code Bonnie my Shih Tzu named after my real Shih Tzu called Bonnie she passed away this year my real Shih Tzu so sad so I'm never ever going to use a code or ever get rid of this one even if I do sell the others I'll keep this one W code then we have Santa Moo my Moose code Oh crap, he's W's there. He's an error Webkins because his W's going up that way and his tag's on the wrong side and that. So he's actually an error Webkins. Sorry guys, this is a nightmare actually because they're all clumsy Webkins. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, then we have Xena, my Okapi. And her code's all over the place. Code W. Then we have um, Holly, my Cocker Spaniel. And when I got her, I actually... Her code is still unused, but... um. I just took it off of her because I barfed her and stuff. I might be actually raffling her code, but only this one. Oh, and then we have Maya, my golden retriever, code W. Mirin, my lamb, code W. Sorry, guys, the floor's a bit squeaky. Then we have Chantel, my love spaniel, code W. I think this one might go up like the love puppy. The lamb's like really popular and stuff. So yeah. Then we have Choco, my mocha pup. W, uh, W, which is on the ear, then his code. Then we have Serafina, my Persian cat, code, W. Callie, my Calico cat. Ozaka, my Cocker Spaniel, named after one of the cities in Japan. W, code. Vixie, my fox. W. Um, Kawaii, my cherry soda pop. Kawaii means cute in Japanese, so yeah. Code W. Sorry. Pilsuk, my Siamese cat. I'm just telling you guys all the unusual names. <laughs> w code. Named after one of the Korean people on this one of the Korean girls on a Korean drama called Dream High. 
Um, we have Mary, my little kin's lamb, named after named after Mary from the Bible. So yeah, code W. Then we have Kiara, my little kin's lioness, named for Nike. W code. Then we have Fern, my hedgehog, code W. Hitomi, my little kin's Clyde sale, code W. Yeah, it's Japanese. Um, Beethoven, my little kin's Bernie's man dog. That's one of the common names, but I thought because it's really cute, I couldn't resist. W code. Nemo, my little kin's tomato clownfish, code W. And last but not least, carrots, my amazing hamsters, and her clothes, so I knew she's in box. So those are pretty much all my unused webkins. Um, please, please don't ask for the codes. I don't even, I only might raffle my Cocker Spaniel's code or get a pen pal and send it to him. The reason being, guys, why I don't want to give away the codes, I'm not being mean, but I buy these with my own money. And even though I'm not using the codes, and I know some of you guys might really want some of these webkin codes. But the trouble is, is I want to sell more of these to come, and I know they're not going to be worth anything. Like, well, they are, but they're not going to be worth as much without codes as they are with codes. And I buy them with my own money, so giving them away would be like giving you guys some of my money. And maybe when I have raffles in the future, I will actually purchase webkins online for you guys to have. So, it all depends, but yeah. So yeah, these are like... And you can tell that they're unused because they're actually attached around their legs. The only one that isn't is my Cocker Spaniels, but it's because I gave her a bath, as I said. And Look, the stringy thing's still in there, so you still can't pull it open. So yeah, those are all my unused webkins. Thank you so much for watching. And all my future ones can be unused. I'll do an updated unadopted webkins probably next year. In some point, as you know, July. And yes, they all have names because they're still on my webkins and I still want to give them all names, obviously. See ya. Bye, guys.